Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, going to tie a Frenchie for you today, a little bit different than the standard pattern. We're going to start out with a size 14 Daiichi 1560 uh, wet nymph hook. We're using a 764 multi ued bead. And we're going to start out with a little bit of lead on it. Just a little bit, about a dozen wraps. Uh, you might have seen me do this in other videos. I like to put this on my uh, bodkin and put it on that way. It's a little bit easier to spin it on there. Just going to put about a dozen wraps on there. Take and push that up into the head to hold the head in place there. Now the next thing we're going to use is uh, some red thread. This is going to make the hot spot at the end of the fly. I'm going to start out by tying it on right here behind the lead. And we're going to wrap up over the lead just to lock it down in place. And taper that out nice and smooth there too while we're at it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap back here to the bend for the tail. For the tail, I'm using Cocktaily on. Uh, I'm tying this in an olive color. I'm going to tie the whole pattern in an olive color. This Cocktaily on feather makes great tailing material. This one you can see is an olive. Um, it's actually the speckled fluorescent chartreuse is the color, but it gives it like an olive color, a little bit brighter. What we're going to do, we're going to take uh, about 8 or 10 pieces off of here. We're just going to pluck them off the shank of the feather there. And we're going to place them all together, get our tail nice and even. We'll flip it around in my finger. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make this almost the length of the hook shank. We're going to set that on top. Soft loop, make sure it's the length we like it. That's a little bit long for me. Since we did a soft loop, I can pull it back through a little bit. I like it a little better. Want a little bit of length to this tail. And then we're going to tie it down tight. We're going to tie it back to the bend. This stuff is perfect for tailing. Um, we have we sell tailing packs at the shop, or we sell the whole saddle. Cocktaily on, like I said, from whiting. Now the next thing we're going to put on is we're going to put on some gold ultra wire brassies of size. It's going to take a strip about I don't know four or five inches long, you don't need a big strip and tie this on on the side and we're going to tie it back to the bend okay, we're going to bring our thread back to the bend again the next thing I'm going to use is an olive dyed pheasant tail and I'm going to take and get about oh, eight or so um, fibers off of this. Just cut them off. Now I'm going to get them where I'm going to get all the ends even together. We're going to tie this in by the tip end. So I'm going to turn it around here in my hand, get all the tips lined up best I can put it put it on top of the hook shank here tip first and tie it down to, by the tips and we're gonna wrap that back to the bend there okay, now we're gonna wrap our thread back up here and we're gonna wrap these fibers on so when I wrap I'm gonna use my finger to hold them in place as I Flip it underneath so they don't unwind on me. Wrap this up here as far as I can. And we're going to tie this off. Pull all them fibers off of there. Ok, 
Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to wrap our gold wire on here. We're just going to make a rib with this. This will strengthen those pheasant tail fibers and make a nice, nice rib to it. Try to make it nice and even, nice and neat. Okay, I'm bring it up here and we're going to tie that off. Okay, then we can just spin this around a couple times and it'll pop right off. Make sure you have it tied. Wrap down real good there before you try that. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some ice dub and caddis green. It does not take much of this stuff. We're going to dub this onto our thread. He said you already got this pretty well built up from the lead and your thread and your peacock there and everything else. So you do not need a lot of this ice dub. If you use a lot of it, you're just going to way over build it. So we're just going to wrap that on there. Wrap it right up. Get it up here. And then we're going to start wrapping our collar. Just get a couple wraps to start it. And then we're going to finish making that collar, the hot spot collar, with our whip finish. I'm just going to come in and whip finish this off. And put enough wraps on there that you get a nice red collar with your red thread. That's why we're using the red thread on this to get that hot spot collar. And that is all that is to this simple simple fly, the Frenchie. This is a good bottom fly, a uh, good fly to get you down. You want to tie a lot of these, you're going to lose some. Now you're waiting it, using the tungsten bead on this, waiting it, trying to get it down, down to where the fish lay. Uh, great looking fly, you can tie it in different colors. Don't be afraid to try different colors. The standard is uh, pink here and your natural colored pheasant tail here with the uh, natural colored cocktail on back there is your standard but this pattern will work just as well I like a lot of green in my area I like fishing with green flies so this is what I go with if you like this please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're constantly updated with new videos don't forget to like us on Facebook as, and check us out on our website site at wholesingersflyshop.com for all you need for fly, tying this fly and many others thanks again for watching